In this video, I'm going over DLive. There's a lot of information that has come to light that many people think it's a scam. And I also wanted to show what all the content creators are doing with their money. All this massive amount of wealth they've accumulated a short period of time on the DLive platform. Are they cashing out? Are they investing in it? Well, I'm gonna show you all that coming up. So I'll be referencing two videos in here, one from Legend Total of War that is pro DLive, and then one from Short Fat Otaku that is anti DLive where he states the terms of service, and in this terms of service, they state that the Lino currency is worth nothing. They're not responsible, it has no monetary value, and I look through their terms of service and it is very aggressive. Their litigation and arbitration clauses are very aggressive. I'll put it up over here as well. So uh, basically this is just a cover your ass kind of move by them to say that they are not responsible for anything happens in regards to the Lino currency. If they go away and go bankrupt tomorrow and you have 10 million Lino, it's worth nothing. So that's the gist of it. Right now though, I'm going to show you all the payments they're doing, all the payments coming into them, and kind of show you their business model. So let's go ahead and see how much is DLive making, or losing I should say, and what's PewDiePie and Total War and all these other streamers doing with their money. So this is my account right here. I roughly have 67 Lino. I've streamed several times over the past week. If you look in my balance history, transfer in right here means what I got from the actual system the system gave me. Uh, Lino Wallet gave me one when I first created my account. Donations in, this is during the stream, people donating a Lino to me. Claim bonus and reward is the locked amounts. These are rewards that you get by locking your balance and i've gone over that in a past video transfer out is me taking the lino and transferring it to money so i haven't done any transfers out obviously i don't have 2000 lino to make a transfer out donations out this is me tipping another creator voter deposit this is when you actually lock the money it'll show in this tab so if you're really wanting to get like interest on your Lino balance, you'd want to do a deposit and lock that money. It would show up here and then you'd start getting claim rewards and bonuses. So with that, let's flip over to PewDiePie. Now PewDiePie here roughly had a balance on Sunday. I was kind of checking it. He had almost up to 5 million Lino. Now he's down to 1.7. If we look at his balance history, transfers in from the system itself. He doesn't have very much. The only notable transaction is 3.3 million from DLive TV that they paid to him nine minutes before his stream started. Now he gave away almost all of this during his streaming and it whittled his balance down to 1.7 million. So that's kind of a, a neat thing that where he just gave away most of everything he earned on here. Obviously donations in, he has a ton. Claim bonus and rewards and voter deposit. He is not locking any of his balance. It's all just sitting there liquid. Transfer outs. He has not cashed out any Lino. He's just letting it sit in his balance. So not too much here on PewDiePie. He's basically sat on everything and gave almost everything away that he's got from DLive. The other YouTuber I wanted to go over is Legend of Total War. He actually did a video about the defense of Lino, and I wanted to just kind of draw your attention to a couple things in his balance history. One, if you look at his transfer ends from the actual system, what he's earning from DLive itself, there's a couple notable deposits here that I wanted to kind of show you. Now, most of these ones and twos you can safely ignore, but if you look back in here, there's something I kind of saw that was interesting. Charles Wayne, which is the name of the CEO of Lino or DLive, actually gave him 5,000 Lino points back at the end of January. So I thought that was kind of interesting. As far as donations in, he's an avid streamer and has gotten a lot of donations. And if we look at his claim bonus and rewards, he's getting a ton of bonuses and rewards from locking his actual account balance. So his Lino is mainly tied up. If you look at his voter deposits here, he is tied up almost everything he's made on the platform in the platform to earn interest. 
So he has gotten a lot of Lino per day, roughly between $20 and $30 worth of Lino every single morning. So very interesting to know. Transfers out, he only has one transfer to real money here, and it was roughly 2,000 Lino. He showed it in his video, which was roughly $20 to his PayPal. So that was Legend of Total War. Now let's look over the actual Lino wallet. What's going on with the Lino wallet. Now the transfers in here actually is Lino wallet paying creators real money. I've crunched the numbers on this and roughly I pulled in the last 2000 withdrawals using the download to CSV option here and put it in Excel. There was 2000 withdrawals and Lino has paid out roughly $380,000 in actual money. That equates to about 22 million Lino. Now, as far as money they get in, this was the really, really interesting part here. The money they get in out of the last month and a half since March 5th, they've done 83 deposits, meaning people gave them money to get Lino. There's only been 83 people, and that equated to roughly 782,000 Lino. This is a far cry, there's a huge discrepancy here, and you'll notice the actual system itself had to balance this out, where Lino did a DLive payment of roughly five million to try and make this up, and there's several of these big transactions here to make up the difference. So here is the actual money you can buy Lino for. So if you take PayPal or credit card, you can actually buy this amount of Lino. 7,888, 288, 88, is only a dollar fifty. These types of things are kind of interesting, and those are the transactions that done out of this entire past month and a half. Only eighty-three deposits were made, so only eighty-three people paid real money for Lino. So they're not ingesting very much money. Now, there's a couple things I want to point out about this small snippet that I just did. One, Charles Wayne is the CEO of DLive. I mentioned it there. His LinkedIn profile is down below, so you can actually verify that information as well. I'll also put the Lino team in there. If you want to go hunting around in their tracker system, you can track all these payments and what they're doing with all their money. The most interesting part here, I didn't find anything that was necessarily illegal, but I did find that I don't think they have a sustainable business model. By my calculations, they're taking in roughly about thirteen to fourteen thousand dollars from people buying the Lino using their store, and roughly they're paying out around three hundred eighty thousand dollars from the last two thousand withdrawals. This is a huge disparity, and I have serious concerns about their longevity. Now, this is obviously the very beginning stages, and they hope to grow. If they keep burning through money this quickly, they'll probably be out of business within a year or two, depending on how their server costs, how much they're paying their employees to work. These things are all kind of adding in, and I don't know what those costs are. Roughly per month, what I can see just from the intake and outtake, uh, they're losing roughly about a quarter of a million dollars, which sounds like a lot, but I know they had 20 million in seed money, so I don't know how much of that's left over what the actual current bandwidth is of the company, how much longer they can run, what their runway looks like. I imagine it's at least a year, maybe two, but again, I don't know what the financial situations are. I just know that their business model right now looks really bad. I don't know how they're making money and if they will ever be profitable because right now it is definitely not. So as far as content creators, what's my advice to you? I say do your research. Check out the links below. Check out the terms of service. Look at the community guidelines. Look at those other videos I mentioned. You need to come to your own conclusion. As far as viewers, again, you see which platform you like the most. Personally, I think the viewing experience on Twitch is a lot better. However, from a content creator point of view, you can make a lot more money on DLive. My thing is I wanna build influence. I want to better myself. So Twitch just offers a lot more for me. Now, if I already was an established streamer, I understand you're passing up a lot of money by not trying DLive. But if you do choose the DLive approach, I highly recommend don't invest and lock your money in it. Try to withdraw and only leave in there what you can lose because this company right now 
doesn't have a viable business model. And that's all I wanted to say in this video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And again, all the links are in the description. So with that said, I'll see you in the next video.